Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how you can make custom avatars or mark shots for Mega Man Star Force uh, using uh, Adobe Photoshop and uh, the avatar generator tool. Right. So first, so if you want to check how to use uh, the avatar generator tool, I will put the timestamp so you can just skip to it but if you just but if you want to start something new like something different than any of the battle network mark shot or star force so i'm going to show you how okay so first of all you need a picture all right so for example maybe you wanted to use uh sound wave from transformers or megatron or or leonardo from ninja turtles or for example Right, you can, but you you need to follow the following steps as I do. All right, so so open your Photoshop. All right, I'm gonna open a new one. Okay, and okay, just in case I'll copy. All right, I mean another copy just for our uh, original reference. So what you should do here is that you try to uh crop the the area that you want to put inside the uh portrait all right so so first of all just do it like this okay let's say you you want around this area and you're ready to crop then just click crop right all right so this is what you need to do and and that's first the first step now the second step is we want to reduce the size all right we want to reduce the size to the appropriate dimension so for battle network you want to use it uh, around 40 times 48 pixels right uh because if that is one if you want to use it automatic but if you want to do it manual you have uh the dimension is 38 times 46 all right if you want to do it manually you know putting it pixel by pixel and the maximum color all right uh the color palettes that you should have for at most is just 50 all right if you want to use it uh the avatar generator but if you want to do it for uh what manually it's 40 okay because you cannot edit the border okay so just remember at most 15 but if you want manual do it 14 and this is the dim dimensions all right okay so all right now we need what we need to do using adopt photoshop all right go to image all right maybe if you want to adjust the color a bit maybe tone uh, that's up to you but for example i'm uh here all right go to image size okay so do not, uh untick the co constraint proportion so that you it can be flexible okay and then put the dimensions so the width is 40 and the height is 48 all right and to make it look like a uh, a battle network uh what portrait all right go to select nearest neighbor all right so that uh, it reduces it looks more a uh, clean okay right so this is how it looks and now to reduce the color we go to mode go to index color all right and just go palette ad palette local adaptive all right and untick the transparency okay and i think that's that's good I mean this one doesn't do anything for me at least so and there you go all right now this is if you want to use avatar generator all right so uh if you shrink uh a picture there will be uh some parts where you have to edit manually so that one is you have to all right you have to check the original picture just to see like if there are some missing details or miss 
a line or something that that one you have to do it manually but but let's just say this is what you want to go for okay all right so and i just save all right okay for uh for this video i'm using uh desmumi or nos dba because uh you you can only use desmumi or a uh, no dollar gba because uh, Melon DS cannot handle too many uh, long code for the key. All right. Okay. So, okay. First things first. Um, hold on. Okay. Open your avatar generator. Now, do not make this mistake. All right. Okay. So first of all, choose the game that you want to to use so i'm using star force one dx so it's just star force one okay click open image all right uh go to the pictures that you want to use now do not do like this all right okay if you do it like this right now as it is like what people always do here's what's gonna happen okay okay just select me and copy and here's what's gonna happen all right so uh this is the code i put right now now press r and down now it will do something like this right but when you go check it you see there are stuff right here all right and you don't want this because this is not how it's supposed to work so uh just a heads up, this program was like created like use uh in the, the old generation uh PC like it's win early Windows like Windows Vista or something. So this program is created inside uh an old operation system. So so how you can fix this is very simple, very simple. Okay, right? so when you open this. Just move this away. Literally, just move this away. All right. Uh, and where is it? All right, here it is. Select the image. Select this again. All right. Now copy. All right. All right. Now uh, let's update the cheat. All right. Now do it again. Okay, go to face pick and there you go now it's much better okay so uh i think that is all uh so it's really simple it's really a simple problem but because this program was like uh around 13 years ago so it was created in an old generation i don't know i'm maybe you should ask the devs uh Maybe they have a better explanation than I do. So that's how you want to use avatar generation now uh, in current era. So, so that's, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching.